WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, three hours into the trading day. And we got quite a reversal to the upside. Start of the day in negative territory. All the indices now in the green. We got the S&Ps up 12 points, trading at 28.51. You get the NASDAQ right now up 64 points, trading at 77.98. And the Dow positive 111 points, trading 25,643. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield, 10-year note up 12 ticks, 124.22. You get the 30-year up 23 ticks, 149.29. Gold contract up two dollars and fifty cents at twelve ninety eight eighty, and you got oil above sixty two dollars sixty two oh one. That's up twenty four cents, and the dollar index basically flat ninety seven three twenty five. As we start things off, let's jump over to the futures markets, and we'll start it off with the Dow and quite an acceleration. We started really ten o'clock, and what did we start on? Why not? We'll jump back to the news because it is the news that's driving a lot of what's going on today. As you had President Trump delaying some of the auto tariffs amid EU and Japan trade talks. So Mr. President Trump poised to delay a decision by up to six months to impose auto tariffs to avoid blowing up negotiations possibly with the EU and Japan. So President Trump faced a May 18th deadline over how to proceed with his threat to slap tariffs on as much as 25%. So that the market really liking anything ratcheting down the rhetoric of tariffs. So nonetheless, you go on the Dow from 25 352. We're up now almost 300 points from that level. We reached a high of 25,681 about an hour ago. NASDAQ 100, much the same. NASDAQ was the strongest of the indices coming into the market open, barely in negative territory. But we go from 7355. We're now up 140 points from that level, trading 7495. S&P's trading at 2851. Not that long ago this morning, we were trading at 2815. Not bad, 36 points to the upside. Crude oil trading higher as well. We got EIA this morning. That had a, we'll get, uh, we'll get that number. Nonetheless, there's your volatility around 1030. We trade from 61.38, now trading 62.01. Gold trading at 12.98.65. And there's some action on that trade tariff announcement as well. You have the euro spike higher on that news. You have the dollar spike lower. Euro trading 112.06. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour and Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Wednesday.